Uh, this is Justin Oliver with the DFW Alliance Libertarian Left. They're interviewing Michael Coyne of the uh, Tarrant Libertarian Party. Uh, what are we doing out here today, Michael? Um, well, we're showing our support for the gay community um, and really just individualism in general. So the Libertarian Party's here with a float. We've been supporting marriage equality or really just people living their lives as they see fit since 1972, something that no other political party has done or is doing still to this day. Uh, why do you think it's important to go out and make a presence known uh, for events like this? Well, for the most part, um, people don't know much about us, and they don't know what we stand for. So I think a lot of people are, are uh, pleasantly surprised when they find out what we stand for, and that a lot of their beliefs align with ours. We're interviewing Alan Patterson. He's the chair of the, uh, the Tarrant County Libertarian Party, and I uh, met him out here at the uh, fourth Pride Parade. So um, what, why do you think it was important for the... Uh, for the Libertarians to make a presence today? Well, we've participated in the Dallas Allen Ross Parade for about the last eight or ten years or so, if I'm not mistaken. We thought it was very important to go here, have a big hometown presence, uh, let people know what we're all about, and that we stand for equality and everything. Um, have you, have you uh, passed out flyers? What, what kind of outreach are you hoping to get out uh, do today? Uh, the main thing, and I'm sure you'll show some pics of our float a little bit, is to let people know that we're out here, that we support these good people, uh, that we're in favor of ending government discrimination in whatever form that it takes, and the main thing we're going to do is show that float right there. <laughs> Sounds great. Now, um, now, one idea a lot of, that gets circulated sometimes is how are you going to support so many different subcultures, um, you know, if you're going to promote, um, you know, you have a, people from all across the spectrum uh, support that individual uh, liberty. Uh, so how do you propose that, you know, we uh, support, you know, those different people with vastly different ideas, how can they get along? Yeah, we have an appeal to just about every um, subgroup in society, especially on a lot of the social issues. Um, for instance, you might not smoke marijuana, for instance. Um, but if the government is big enough to imprison marijuana users, they're big enough to stop you from marrying who you choose to marry. And if they can do that, they can take away your guns. If they can do that, they can devalue your currency. If they can do that, they're big enough to get you $50,000 in debt, which you are, by the way. Uh, if they can do that, they can embroil us in foreign wars that will do nothing but create enemies for our nation. And it all becomes just this big circle of oppressive behavior on the part of government and that's why we try to get elected officials into office who will stand up against that, minimize government, create more freedom. Well first of all I think uh, you know libertarians you know at the very most basic part of our philosophy believe that people own themselves and uh, they should be able to without the interference of government uh, be able to associate with anybody that they want to. So uh, we're just out here promoting that fact and letting people know that, hey, we're on their side. We, we want them to have the ability to marry whomever they want to. Obviously, again, I think that, you know, we don't think that government should even be in the marriage business at all. But with the framework that we currently have today, we just think that everybody should have equal protection under the law. And that's what we're, you know, that's what we're all about today. I think that's admirable quality, too. Um, what are some of the things you're hoping to, I'm sorry, have you spoken to anyone? Um, uh, do you have any particular message you're getting out, any candidates you're uh, looking to look forward to promoting or anything like that? Yeah, a couple of things. First of all, we uh, have our gubernatorial candidate is on his way here, and uh, one of our gubernatorial candidates, and it's Lee Wrights, and he'll be on the float waving with the Stetson hat today. Uh, we also uh, will be promoting Rocky Palmquist, who's running for uh, Ag Commissioner, and um, uh, also really just more than anything promoting the idea of liberty. Up until this point, pretty much the only political group that's been courting you know, the gay and lesbian vote are the Democrats, and we want to let them know that there's somebody else out there that really, you know, cares for their struggles, too. Um, now, one thing I've thought about uh, is a strong, along the traditional libertarian spectrum of ideas, uh, some people think that you should have certain cultural attitudes, uh, be they more uh, traditional family attitude or cultural attitudes. Uh, some people think maybe uh, more uh, Toler more tolerance uh, should be afforded if you want to have the, the best, uh, mo make the most of a libertarian society uh, to help protect us against you know, tyrants or thugs who would want to rise to power. So what do you think are some cultural attitudes that you would think would uh, make the most chance of sustaining and achieving a, a long-term libertarian society? 
I guess, first of all, I think what we need to do is to stop thinking in terms of society and a culture and groups of people, because there's no such thing as group happiness. I say this all the time. And uh, what we are striving for is for individual rights, individual freedom, individual happiness. So I think if we can shift, and I think, by the way, I think that the culture is kind of shifting towards that idea of, of uh, individual rights kind of um, trumping everything. Once you kind of have that thought process, you know, it'll be easy to kind of make sure everybody is on that so-called level playing field at that point because everybody is an individual, and that's what we're all about is, again, individual rights. Uh, what are some events taking place in the future? Uh, what are some news that you think libertarians in the area should know about? On uh, November 1st, we are honored to have Dr. Mary Ruert, who is one of the best libertarian authors and speakers ever, come and speak to us in Fort Worth. Um, she's going to be leading a book discussion group on her uh, title, Healing Our World. We hope you'll come see us. You can go to Tarrant County uh, Libertarian Meetup, the Tarrant County Facebook page, or TarrantLP.org to learn more about that. Uh, the very next night, November 2nd, we have uh, Lee Wrights, who is a potential gubernatorial candidate for us. We hope he'll formally and officially announce um, that night, but that's November 2nd. We also have various meetups around Tarrant County, Fort Worth, Arlington, the Mid-Cities, where we just go in, sit down, talk, listen to a couple of candidates, things of that nature, sometimes just for fun. Uh, anything I missed? Any other comments you want to make? Live free. It's better. Thanks, Allie.